Hey everyone, welcome back, and in this video, I want to make a little video on how to download Fallout 76 mods. Now keep in mind, when I say mods, I mean not hacks or nothing, just basic, friendly, nice mods that can maybe enhance your experience. So the two mods I have today are the improved health bar, which you can see on the bottom left, which tells you the amount of health you have and kind of puts lines between the 20s of your health, so you can easily tell if it, you have 20, 40, 60, 80, or 100 health. Another mod is this map mod, which kind of just increases the brightness of the mod and adds these little nice deposit locations that you can see on the map. Um, now, the other part of this mod, this map mod, you can also get a version that showcases the locations of vendors, but I don't quite care about that, so yeah. So the reason I'm going to be making a video on how to download two mods is because downloading one mod is pretty simple but you also need to know how to download multiple mods in case you want to download multiple because it's kind of a different system you're just downloading one mod you download another mod and it works you kind of have to combine your mods in a specific way but let's just get into it so this is the fall 76 nexus um this is where you get your mods at this will be linked in the description for anyone who needs it and this is where you'll find your mods so typically popular all time is where you want to go and the mods i'm going to be getting is improved health bars right here and this high detailed map plus. As you can see, there's also um, other mods you can get. There's reshade, for example, which I'm not gonna go on about. Um, icon sorting tags, that's an interesting mod you can get. Lockpick bar 76. So if you ever downloaded a mod for Fallout 3, New Vegas or 4, then the first step is kind of simple, but basically just download the mod like you would with any other mod. And if you download this high detail map, you wanna look, um, you wanna click files, and you can see that there's four different versions of the mod. So there's vendor markers only, resource markers only, both vendor and resource markers, or just none. I'm gonna go with none because I just want the increased definition on the map and not these little dots right here or the cap icon right here. So when you download this mod, it's gonna ask you if you wanna get Baka file tool. You're not gonna wanna get this because I'm not gonna go over how to download loose files. We're just gonna do BA2 files. So the map mod is kind of taking its time to download, so we're just going to download the improved health bars first. So as you can see, this is improved health bars. So you're going to right-click, copy it, navigate to your Fallout 76 directory. So that's basically just going to Steam, right-click, manage, and browse local files. If you ever downloaded mods for any other Fallout game, then this will look pretty similar, but just navigate to data, right-click, and paste your mod right here. And it should just be in here perfectly fine as a BA2 file. So this is what pops up when you first click the high detail map file folder, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, there's loose files and BA2. You want to click BA2. As you can see, there is different versions of the mod. If the map is too bright, then you might want to get the 33% um, is 67%. I recommend 33% is the lowest you should go. But, you know, if you want to have the map being gray, then go ahead. But I'm going to do 100% because I like that the most. And as you can see, you're going to get this BA2 file. Now you want to drag this BA2 file inside your Fallout 76 data folder just like you did with the improved health bars. And as you can see, there's going to be a file called Fallout 76 Custom Any. Now, this is where it kind of is important. In your file explorer, go to Documents, My Games, Fallout 76, and then you can see I have three files right here that's in any form. You guys might only have two, which will be Fallout 76 Any and Fallout 4 Press Any. Now, if you don't have a Fallout 76 Customs.Any, you can either, one, make one, or two, just drag this one in here to make one i recommend you just duplicate one of these like i guess i'll just remake it so i'm gonna right click copy right click paste as you can see it's now fallout 76 copy.ini and then i am just gonna name this to fallout 76 custom and then just delete everything here so now what you want to click is brackets and then archive and then brackets again and then this is where you paste the mod load order. So for the high detail map, you're just going to want to paste this in. Now this looks like a lot. This will be in the description down below and also on the mod page itself. But now what do you want to do? So if you want to add a mod to this list, you want to click comma after this BA2 space and then the name of the BA2 file. So the name of the BA2 file is what you put in the data folder. So as you can see, this BA2 file is improved health bars dot ba2 i'm going to rename i'm going to copy it click off it make sure i don't rename it and then i'm going to paste it here and then i'm going to do dot ba2 i guess 
ba2 uh lowercase and then i'm gonna save it and just start the game now so as you see now that we're loading in that the mod does now work if i open up my maps it's gonna take a second since i just loaded in there we go the mod works perfectly so as you can see i don't have those dots anymore since i downloaded the version without the dots and there's nothing on the map over here that says what the dots mean and the map just looks in my opinion better I, I i genuinely do like this new look of the map it is a little too bright at some places like around here this white is just way too bright but other than that it's a really nice mod kind of increases the um the size of this icon it seems but uh yeah so yeah, everyone, that is how you install Fallout 76 mods. I hope this video did genuinely help you. Um, I was kind of confused when I first downloaded mods, so I wanted to make this video. And for anyone who's been watching my videos recently, I apologize for not uploading. I've been working on a big video for another YouTube channel of mine, and I plan on making a pretty decent sized video for this YouTube channel also. So hopefully it all works out. And uh, thank you for watching the video and goodbye everyone.